there, buddy. Yeah, she's in. I'm here in Macomb, and they have relocated the public, or it's a public market, um, an open air, an open air public market. They, they still are working on reestablishing their, I think, original public market building, which is next to the new mall, which is opening slowly but surely. A few stores here, a few stores there, but the uh, roadside along, uh, actually on the other side of the road, back over here near. Um, Mercury Drug has moved over here and they rebuilt it whole thing. I did a short video on it as they were constructing it and here we are. There's actually a big U with a center section of meat. So let's take a little walk around. Let's see what we got. And you can see we're straight across from the Pekong Central School, where Trisha was going to school. We come up here from Dowan because we find the market here to be a little nicer than Dowan. Um, the vegetables are fresher. And it's not that far to come up here. Of course, tonight I had some idiot jump out in the middle of uh, the road. And thank goodness I've just converted my truck over to disc brake, and there's Helen buying some potatoes. Uh, he jumped out in the middle of the road, and I'm slamming on my new disc brake on the front of that track, and it stopped us. There's a little town. What? What's the matter? Somebody's being grumpy, as always. Anyhow, this is the new market, and they got a lot more in here than they had before. It consolidated, uh, they had a second market on the, this side of the road, but down the far end of it, if you can see the building here, they had a, a little market here, and then on the other side of that, they had another market. And that is, I believe, the original public market, which they are, I think, in the middle of refurbishing. And we're basically, we're straight across the street from, as you can see, 11 11. And they had along the side of the room out here, they had stands before. Let's take a look. Yeah, the stands are still here. They made this just a lot nicer than it was before. It was much better. Yeah, these are eatery stands along here. And there's actually a pool, pool hall back here. I don't know what it cost to use the pool table, but back here and this is just the back side of this was just an open uh, courtyard before they built all this and over the last about four months maybe a little bit more than that maybe even five or six months <coughs> Hello. Hello. They've got all sorts of goodies here. Animal feeds and such. Dried fish. Rices. You can actually get good rice here. You can't really get, you can get brown rice, but you can't get, and you can get jasmine rice, but it's, I think, a crappier grade. I've been buying the brown rice, frankly, because it makes it taste better. Helen likes the white rice better. I don't really like it. I know the brown's a little, probably a little better for you than white. That's about as much as I know about rice. <laughs> There's all different shops in here. Oh, I guess I can do check prices. Hello. How much for the tendwai, the larger bottle? The big one, the dark. Yeah, how much? Uh, not the dark, no, the regular. But how much for the how much for the taller bottle? This one. The big, like no, no, the big over the. Here. That one, yeah. Uh, one seventy-five. One hundred seventy-five. One seventy-five. Okay, thank you. Salama. That's about to go on rate. I've been running into uh, a little place up in Valencia was wanting over two hundred for a bottle of that. That's what I've been pretty much drinking. Like a few of the shops aren't rented yet. 
extra cheap whiskey, but you throw it in a little Coke, throw in some Jamaica lime juice, good to go. One thing I noticed, it doesn't seem to last that long in your system, so if you drink too much, it'll come down quickly. <laughs> well, what do you want for a $3 bottle of whiskey? Uh, we got more veggies, more expats. <laughs> There's actually not as many expats here as I was expecting to see when I got here. Philippines is a pretty big place, so they spread out. They're here, all over. Oh, this one's well lit up. Look at this. Most of the time they're not lit up super good. This place is lit up very nicely because it's all fresh, brand new. But I've noticed here too, there seems to be like all these different sellers will have almost the same stuff. There'll be mangoes and tomatoes, cucumbers, potatoes. There'll be sweet potatoes, but they're different than a US sweet potato. Yes, sir. There's the green mangoes, there's, there's eggplant, carrots, onions. Uh, we got the acorn squash, so they call it something else. And uh, watermelon. Um, I'm okay, doing a video. <laughs> oh, they're very friendly. Usually, they want to know right away what you want. They come walking up. Gotta find Helen because I only gave her a thousand pesos. She probably already burnt through it. Oh, we got more going on down here. Oh, there. The roadside. Over here is where they used to have the fish market. They had a small fish market along here, but they seem to have completely shut that down. And they, they, this is the building that I believe the this part of it on this end has been rented out, but the middle of it it seems to be vacant. But they've been working on it quite a bit over the last year. And there with jackhammers busted up the old concrete, changing it around. And they've been putting these little and there's some solar powered, I think, lights in the roadway all over the place. They're actually pretty nice. Of course, it'd be a lot nicer if Filipinos would pay any attention to that sort of stuff. A <laughs> guy had jump out in front of me this tonight. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he wanted to flip him the bird and yell and scream, but it's a waste of time. You just waste your breath with that. Fish, chicken, oh, not many flies, wow. How much per kilo? 200. Right now, the chicken seems to be down. Pork seems to be up quite a bit. Pork is up in uh, 400 a kilo because there's some kind of Chinese wine, blue, something or other. How much for the chicken? 200. 205. Oh, okay. Huh, I guess if it's in a package, it's more money. <laughs> I get it. Uh, that is something I did get in Dallin. I'm going to buy that in Dallin. Uh, I just got four of them the other night at 200 a kilo. So, was that two bucks a pound, roughly? 2.2, I just looked it up tonight. 2.2, I believe it is, per kilo, pound. And uh, 200 is basically four dollars. Actually, a little less. We're at 56 right now. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's the highest I've seen it. Is up in the 56 neighborhood. Thank you, Joe Biden. Get the American economy going. These guys keep bitching, saying he's fucking it up. But hey, why is it suddenly 56 when it was 53 when I got here? Now, yeah. anyway, uh, that's it. That would be the uh, Bacong Public Market. It is uh, beginning of April. It's Friday, I believe. Which, ah, the schools were closed today. We, we took Trisha to school. Or no, this is Thursday. Uh, we took her to school. And uh, the uh, governor or somebody closed the school because it was too hot. And it has been quite hot in the last uh, 
about two weeks. Right now, this is like the middle of summer. It's like the hottest month of the year here. Is uh, March, April, sometime in May. The rains come back and everything cools down. And it has been quite hot over the last at least week. We've been running air, actually more than that, because we were running air conditioning last last month. My bill went up to like 2,000 pesos. And uh, so now I've just been turning it on like you know, like one o'clock in the afternoon until like five to take the bite off till the till the sun goes down. That's nice, nice right now. It's beautiful. Uh, okay, everybody, have a good one. Welcome to the film. Oh, yeah. Like and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> but I guess you will if you want anyway, right? Have a good one, everyone.